Hello, and welcome to our Corporate Partner Highlights. As Queensland's peak body for all doctors, we understand our members are busy. That's why AMA Queensland has handpicked a select group of corporate partners to support your journey. We've chosen organisations that specialise in supporting the health profession. Organisations that leverage their strengths, resources and expertise to provide exceptional service to members, no matter their craft and career stage. It's time to meet the teams that can support you and keep your practice healthy so you can focus on your patients. Today we have uh, Zach Earps, Managing Director of Hill House Legal Partners here joining us uh, to talk about how they can support you. Uh, welcome Zach, good to Hi, see Paul. you here. Thanks very much for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Hill House Legal Partners. We do two major streams, private client and business. So private client services are things like family law, your asset protection, estate planning, and conveyancing that touch a person in their personal capacity. The remainder are business related, so every medical business at some point is truly that, it's a business. Um, there are, even if it's an ABN sole trader and they're working for themselves, they're still running a business. So within that, there's a, an array of services. So corporate and commercial law that has anything to do with initial structuring, service arrangements, and so on. Um, acquisition and disposal of other businesses, um, all your contracting terms and things like that, suppliers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then there's property. So it tends to start off, you know, potentially licensing sessional rooms or suites all the way through to leasing a premises or owning and buying a premises and renting it back to yourself. Or if you're very, you know, up the pointy end of where you see the, the practice going, you might even build a premises or multi-site. Then there's employment and all that comes with that. So um, clinical admin and support staff, and then professional staff and service arrangements again for other professionals. Um, IP and um, website terms and conditions, policies and so forth. Um, and then the last piece is that asset protection and estate planning that we tend to do. So obviously you work very hard for a very long time and you wanna you know, grow and protect and manage that wealth and having a, a will and EPOAs and all those sorts of things is a piece of that puzzle. So they're the major things that we would do for the many thousands now of medical clients that we have across their entire journey from commencement, growing a business, maybe going to multi-site or you know, interstate, whatever their, their plans are, and all mm. the way through to selling that business at the end and retiring. Wow. So. I have a young family. You, you need a lot of trust in your providers. Um, I think accounting, law and financial planning and other professional services mightn't be as far down the spectrum as medical, but you mm. want that trusted relationship. To earn that, you've got to build it. Yep. To build it, you've got to put effort into it. So being present at events, passing on valuable information, investing in the space, we aren't the type of practice that just waits until you have a problem and go, I better bring a lawyer to help me fix it. We want to be involved in your business and that trusted person that you can speak to when things are going well, when things are not going so well, and you mm. might need some support. I think it's being truly um, expert and dedicated and engaged in the space. Yeah. What we found prior to you know our personal involvement in the industry, which has now been ongoing for a long time, but yep. there were there were other providers, accountants, financial planners, lawyers, sort of dabbling in med. Mm. Now, by that I mean they might have had a few medical clients and when a need arose, they worked through it with them and yeah. that's the extent of the involvement. Yeah. Um, we'd like to think we're sort of thought leader, front runner, not the only one by any stretch, but really invested in it. We understand, for example, personal services, income rules, how service agreements operate. These things are niched and nuanced just to medicine. They're not in other areas of law. Mm. And so if you're a corporate lawyer dabbling in med, you won't understand those interactions yeah. versus if you say, no, we've been in it for 25 years and counting as a, at a minimum yeah. in, in medical pretty heavily. Plus, obviously, researching, staying across things. You know, Through our involvement with the AMA, we've been absolute front running on the payroll tax issue that's there at the moment. Yeah. There's been various lobbying and things in behind the scenes and um, reports and projects on what does it mean, how do you work it out. And between you know our accounting partners, the AMA itself, we're privy to certain information and positions on things that others might not be. Yeah. Um, and we can pass that information on.
a number of our, uh, I suppose, competitor law firms may have a corporate and commercial capability statement outlining what they do for all sorts of industries in a corporate capacity. We have that, but then we also have a medical only capability statement. And I give this just by way of example, that's only issues that will ever arrive, arise only in medicine. Mm. And then stemming from that, we have practiced establishment checklists, growth, um, payroll tax fact sheets that with that moving feast have had to be updated three times in the last six months as the law and positions change, but, um, and any other things as developments arise or new pieces of legislation or law, we'll comment, comment on it. We'll often write an article about it. We have blogs on our website. We've put things up on LinkedIn a couple of times a week. And certainly I would suggest genuinely weekly, there's a piece of content to do with medicine or medical and law mm. and, and the interaction of what we're seeing and why. Mm. So it's, yeah, it's putting those things out there so the people are armed with the best information to help make their business decisions. Thank you very much for your time today. Uh, it was a lot of fantastic information and certainly from our perspective and AMA Queensland, uh, we'll be providing further information to our members out there and uh, to give you further information on how to get in contact with Zach and Hill House Legal Partners. Uh, we welcome our members to uh, get in contact and you did say any time. So, Absolutely. Uh, Look, we appreciate they're all very busy and mobiles and Saturdays and Zooms and out of hours. That's how it has to be if you want to work with medical people. So very happy to. Thanks very much for having me along and hope everyone learned a bit more about Hill House. No worries. Thank Thanks, you very guys. much, Zach. Cheers. Ciao.